guys, welcome back to my channel, Tech Out Diaries. Today, I'm going to be walking you through a five minute Java tutorial, and it will be a very beginner friendly tutorial, so please make sure to keep your eye on what I am doing and follow along. I'll put the links in the description below, so please make sure that you're doing the steps because that is the best way for you to actually learn what is going on, and let's get started. All right, so the first thing that you are going to do is go to the URL repl.it and once you get to this page, you're going to click on New Repl and click on Java. And it could be any name you want and just click on Create. After you create it, you just see the console on the right-hand side and where you're going to write your code on the left-hand side. So here we have the main class and you can think of each class like an object that is able to organize your code into chunks. So you can have a class called main, you can have another class called a different name with different functions inside and the function is just this bit right here and it basically has a name which you can call and it's like a step of instructions. So you can call this function many times, as many times as you want for it to perform the instructions inside it. So right now we have this piece of code card system dot out dot print long hello world and quotation marks and what this does is when you run it it will print out a string called hello world so if we change it here let's change it to say something like hello jasmine it will then print out hello jasmine now this is pretty interesting right you can put anything inside here and this is what it will print now let's try and do something a little different let's try to do some math and let's create another function let's create one called public static and then it will return another number and how we call numbers in java is an int which stands for integer so it will, um, you can have decimals and other things but to keep it simple we'll go to return integer for this number and what we're going to do is call it adding things up so in this function right here we're going to pass in two things which are the two numbers we want to add up so we will put an int for it to know that we're passing in an integer and we'll give it a name so we can call it number one and then we pass in another int which is called number two and basically you can give them any name that you want here this could be called anything I, those are just the names that i am giving it but just make sure that you put the type that it is in front of it so that the computer knows that you're passing in two integers now what do we want to do with these numbers well we want to add them up so let's do number one plus number two and we are going to return this so return now we want to print out what this function is so we can do add things up and we could put any um, two numbers inside here like this function takes two numbers so we can put in three five and let's see what happens it returns eight which is exactly what we want now quickly going over the signature of each function with you guys so you guys understand what these things in the top of the function means public means that it is a public function it can be accessed by classes outside of main if it's private that means only code inside of main will be able to access this function and then int is basically what it returns so in this function it returns an integer in this function it doesn't return anything it only prints onto the console so it is void and this could be anything it could print a string it could print an integer it could print a boolean which is true and false so it could really print anything that you wanted to so for example if we want to change this to add words up and make it print words we could do that so let's try doing that we will make this print out a string and then we'll change these to strings as well so we can make this word one and then make this word two and then in this place we will change it as well so add words up let's put two words so let's put my last name and then we will put my first name in there and let's see what happens oh no there's an error why is that well i forgot to change these so let's change this to word one and word two there you go now we have jasmine Wu. and we want to add a space you could do that as well just do this and the plus sign and it will have a space in between so you can add whatever you want up with java 
Now keep in mind, each one of these functions can also be called by other functions. So for example, if I were to create another function right here called public static string add exclamation mark, and it will take in a string. And what it will do is it will take that string and just add an exclamation mark to it. Now let's call inside our previous function add words up. And how we do that is we just put in the function name add exclamation mark. And then let's run it and see what happens. There we go. It says Jasmine Wu with an exclamation. All right, guys, bonus time. Instead of adding each strings one by one like this, word one, word two, word three, what if I have a lot of strings and I don't want to do this manually because it's just going to be too tedious? Well, we can do something called an array. And what an array is, it's basically a list that contains a bunch of different things and you can then use it later on so that you don't have to put them in manually. You can use a loop to go over all of them automatically and I will be showing you how you can use it. So we're going to create one called static string and then these square brackets just means it's an array and then we'll give it a name so let's call a list of words and then in these curly brackets we'll just put all the words that we want in it so let's say i want to eat pizza and there's our list of words and instead of just putting all these words in, instead we're just going to put a, an array of strings, which is words, and then we're going to pass in the list of words into our function, which the name is list of words. So basically this is going to go into this function and we're going to be going over them in a loop. And how a loop works is you're going to have a start. So int i equals zero. This means it's i, which is our starting point. It's going to start at zero. Then what we want is for this i to increase each time this loop completes. And we want it to automatically stop at a certain point. And where do we want it to stop? We have to give it a condition. So i has to be less than words dot length which in this case, this is going to be five, right? So that's exactly what we want. And then we will tell i to increase by one each time, which is i plus plus. Now inside these curly brackets, we want it to go over them and add them up automatically. So we're going to make another string called result. And we're going to make it an empty string because we don't have anything in it yet. And what we want to do each time is result will equals result plus words i. And let me explain to you what this means. What this means is since each time this goes over, it will increase by one. This means that it's getting the element in this list at a certain point. So when i equals zero, it is grabbing i because in a list in Java, it starts counting at zero. So this is element zero, this is element one, this is two, three, and four. So after it adds i, it goes into this loop again, i increases by one, so now it adds one. Then it increases by one again, and then it will grab two. And then it increases by one, grabs eat, increases it by one and grabs pizza until the result is containing everything. Now let's see how this runs. And don't forget, we also have to return the result at the end. And there we go. Let's see what this returns. And there you go. You can see I want to eat pizza. It automatically went through the loop each time and grabbed each one of these elements and returned it at the end. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial. Make sure that you have subscribed and click the notification bell for future videos like this. And if you have any questions at all, just leave them in the comments below. I will see you guys next time. Bye.